love is unconditional, unwavering, unchanging, yet unpredictable. When you fall in love, you know it hits like a freight train, and everything you thought you knew is no more, no more. Two beings joined as What will be left when it's all said and done? It's all said and done. Cause you can't hide, you can't run from love. No, you can't hide, can't run from love. No, you can't hide, you can't run from love. No, you can't hide. From love, you can't run from love. No, no, love can grab a hold of you, make it hard to think, make it hard to see. Life causes ups and downs, but you gotta find your peace, gotta find your strength. Love brings security. If the love is real, if the love is real, you'll find serenity. If it's meant to be. Kim, you want me to fix you a plate? No, I'm okay. You gotta try to eat something, baby. I'm fine. All right, well, I'll put a plate up for you. Is she gonna be okay? It's gonna be rough. BJ's gonna have to step up and be the man of the house. BJ's only 13. I know, I know, but what are they gonna do? Stacy, is everything okay? You guys are very quiet today. Yes, we are great. Minister, what does the Bible say about the wife being submissive? I think it's in Ephesians somewhere around the fifth chapter. Well, it does speak about a wife being submissive to her husband. That's right. But it also says, Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Amen. What's wrong, baby? You okay? I think he's going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. Minister, the scripture says that the wife no longer has control over her own body, but the husband does. So I won't be doing no couch games. Oh my God, 
Did you just see that? He killed him. I hate to see people die with their eyes open. It's so creepy. Oh, is him scared now? <laughs> I didn't say I was scared. I said it looks creepy. Mm. I would have to close their eyes. Yeah, well, I know for a fact, with their eyes open, they're dead. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Enough for the dead talk. How about we just put each other to sleep? <laughs> I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. Baby, you got a brother up in here sweating. You got me all thirsty and parched. I'm about to go to the kitchen and get something to drink. You want something to drink? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. What? How many of us? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? I just got laid off today. What? And he didn't even have the decency to tell me in person. Twelve years of work I did for him, and this is how he treated me. Listen, baby, calm down. Okay? Maybe it's just God's way of having something better for you. Plus, it's, it's not like we're hurting for any money. Yeah, I know. Look, I got a... Do you find something else? I'm a man. I don't need you carrying me. Look, we are married. Aren't we supposed to have each other today? I need a drink. Baby, you know I gotta get ready for work. Going through here a few minutes late. No, Stan, I can't. No, I can't. Come on, baby. You know it's unhealthy to stop me like this. Stan, I can't. Damn it, Lisa, can you be spontaneous for once? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so upset. to rub in the fat that you had class this morning. And guess who does it? Me. So, rise and shine. I hate you. I know. Hello class. Welcome to Sociology 101. How many of you all are familiar with sociology? Okay. Great. Then you won't have a problem passing this quiz I'm about to give you. Oh, so you one of those professors. One of what professors? The ones that give quizzes on the first day. Listen, there's no need to panic. It doesn't count against you. It's just to see how much you know. Well, what if we do good on it? Could you count it then? Maybe it could count as a possible fail quiz in the future. Yes, I can and I will. Sweet, thanks. So, what is your name? Kimberly Towns. Well, Kimberly, you must be one of those students. What student? The one who is highly concerned about her grade, which lets me know you will be one of my hardworking students. 
Okay, page one. Pass it down. I hope everyone does well. I just wanna, I just wanna fly away. Wanna see the sky today. That was good. I think it's going to be a great summer. Well, good for you, sis. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Are you ready to order? Uh, I want a drink. So okay. let me get a long out of nice tea. <laughs> okay. D, I don't think she meant a drink. She meant food. You are such an alcoholic. I am too. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. I want some wings. You want some wings? Yeah, sure. Uh, let us get just let us get the two wing platters. All right, two wing platters. Oh, and can I get another order to go, please? Sure. I'll be right back with your drinks. Right. Okay. Uh, you got to clean up, man. <laughs> <laughs> so how is Stan doing anyway since he got laid off? Oh, girl, he has been having such an attitude lately. Well, you know why? Because you're bringing home the bacon and cooking it. And you know that makes him feel less of a man. Well, look, he has an interview coming up. So maybe if he gets a job, he'll stop you. Yeah, maybe. All right, All right. ladies, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now, this is a long way. Yes, this is strong. Look, I can't be getting drunk. I got quizzes to grade tonight. Dang, Lee, you gonna give them a quiz on the first day? Oh, so you one of those? Now there you go. You know one of my students said the same thing to me? Because ain't nobody trying to be stressed out on no first day of class. I'm not stressing them out. It only counts if they pass. Oh, cool. Now, where the wings at? Because I need something to wash this drink down. <laughs> I can't with you. I can't. <laughs> You're late. Where were you? Stan, you startled me. I was out having a drink with my sister. Here. I brought you some wings. I don't want no damn wings. I want a home cooked meal. Which I could have gotten had you brought your ass home like most wives do. I left you a message letting you know that I was gonna be late. I don't think I was committing a crime, Stan. And I didn't know that there was a rule of marriage where you could no longer spend time with your family. I'm not done talking to you. Stan. Now who the hell you think you're talking to? Stan! Is that how you talk Get to your husband? Me. Stan, let me go. You're hurting me. Oh, you haven't seen her yet. Please pick up your quizzes as you exit. Can a brother get a makeup test? And Mrs. Tapp. Hey, I got a hundred. Yeah, you look pretty good. Just judging. You okay? I'm just tired. I was up late grading quizzes. Oh, okay. Well, get some rest. I read that getting sleep feels good for a healthy life. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, I'll see you later. All right. Stan! Is that how you talk to your husband? Stan, let me go. You're hurting me. Oh, you haven't seen her yet. Uh, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. 
Yeah. Where did you go? I'm sorry. I was just going to be quiet. Who was it? I wanted to see if you wanted to sign this card for Trevor's birthday. Oh, wow. It's Trevor's birthday? It's Trevor's birthday, yes. Does he have any plans? I'm not sure, but we are meeting at the ale house for some drinks. Are you coming? No. I'm sorry. I, I can't. But please, tell Trevor I said goodbye. Okay, I will. I'm so sorry, baby. I don't know why I got so angry. Thank you. It smells good in here. Mm -hmm. Good. Take a picture, Jim. Um, everything is nice, so you can go to the washroom for dinner. Stan, not tonight. I'm tired and I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood? I bring you flowers and gifts and you're not in the mood? Oh, so is that why you bought me those? Because you thought you can get you some? No, I just felt that since we had a nice evening, we could cap it off with a little love making, that's all. Well, I'm tired and I'm not feeling it tonight. Okay? What's with you, huh? You've been acting a little funky all night. I am tired, okay, Stan? So please, let my arm go so I can go to bed. Oh no, you gonna satisfy me tonight. <laughs>
class, your assignment is up on the board. Professor James, how many paragraphs? What was that? How many paragraphs? Uh, two. Okay, babe, so we'll be watching. And before you answer, please no chick flicks tonight. Get the movie, let's just go out and rob some old people. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, it's just, well, Professor, I think she's having a problem with her head. Maybe even being abused. Whoa, whoa, how do you figure that? Her behavior lately. She looks like she hasn't been sleeping, and she's been drinking. But how do you know she's been drinking? Because she's been carrying around this coffee mug. I mean, at least 90% of the world drinks coffee, so how do you know it wasn't just coffee? Because I haven't seen her drink coffee before. She always carries a water bottle. She started to look terrible when she started bringing coffee in. Maybe you should change your career and become a detective. Brett, I'm serious. I'm worried about her. My mom did the same thing when my dad was abusing her. She started drinking because it helped her get through the pain. <sighs> look, man. I understand that your mother went through it, but you can't assume just because she went through it that your professor's going through the same thing. And I mean, what if she was? nothing you can do about it. Yes, there is. I can help her. Kim, look, you have to stay out of here. Like, seriously, it's really none of your business. So what if it's true? And her husband found out. I mean, he can come after you. I'm not about to let that happen. Your favorite, most beautiful sister. You're my only sister. <laughs> mm. Oh, you are looking a heated mess. What's going on with you? Well, thanks for noticing. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to be there. So, what's up? I was at the bookstore and I ran across this book that I thought you would like to discuss with your class. Maybe even do an assignment. Hmm. A narcissistic family? Yeah. It talks about families where kids try to earn love and approval by satisfying their parents' needs without even recognizing their own. Sounds interesting. Thank you. So, what did the wifey get you for your birthday? <sighs> she got me this watch. Oh, snap, that is nice. I'll leave it to you. Okay, thanks again for the book. You're welcome. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm Trevor. Stan, Lisa's husband. Nice to meet you. Y'all take care. How are you going to be a married woman sitting in this room by yourself with some pretty boy? He just came in here to give me a book. 
Well, he should have just given you the book and left. But he all up in here chilling on your desk. What was y'all in here talking about anyway? Stan, don't start. He's a happily married man. He's not even thinking about me. So, he's still a man. Is he the reason why you're not taking care of your wifely duties at home? No. You are. Okay, class, how many of you all had the opportunity to read the assignment? I did. It was pretty interesting. Very good. Professor James, do you believe that your environment plays a role in your character? Yeah, don't you? I mean, I'm not sure. Like, take me for instance. I grew up in the hood, me and my friends, and I'm the only one out of all my friends to go to college. But they're all still the same. Why am I not still the same if that is the environment that I grew up in? One word, parents. Didn't your parents instill a lot of values in you? Yeah, my mom did. Taught me how to treat a woman and how to be a gentleman. What about college? Did she put that in your head too? Yeah, she always said in our house, college is not an option. See, that's why parenting skills are so important to have. If she had not instilled those values in you, you would have been just another product of your environment. Professor James? Yeah. What if you went to Morgan and you've grown to care about them? If they were in an environment that could possibly hurt or even kill them, would you help them if you could? Yes, I would. Okay, class, that's enough for today. Remember, we have a test on Friday, so study. James, I want to give you this. You should give her a call. She's really good. Yeah. Why are you giving me this? Because I'm familiar with science. Professor James. Hi. Hey, Kim. What brings you here? I'm meeting my boyfriend for lunch. Oh, okay. Uh, Kim, I need to ask you something. Sure, what's up? The other day when you gave me that card and you said you were familiar with the signs, what did you mean by that? Never mind, I shouldn't even ask. No, it's fine. Five years ago, my father killed my mother. Oh no. Kim, I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because I always felt like I could have done something to stop it. I mean, how? You were just a kid. But I could have called the police or something. I saw the signs. All the arguing. The booze she did so poorly hiding. She started drinking, but she would never turn him in. Professor James, I just feel like, had I done it myself, she'd still be here with me today. You know, we always think about what we could have done when tragedy happens. 
But the fact is, there is no guarantee that we'd have the same outcome if we did. That's true. My little brother wanted to kill him. You have a little brother? <laughs> yes, BJ, or Brandon Jr. Where is he now? He joined the military. After what happened with my parents, he had to get away. Do you hear from him much? Every once in a while. I really miss him. Oh, my boyfriend's here. Listen, I want you to remember this address. 1302 High Ridge Drive. Will you say it with me? 1302 High Ridge Drive. Kim, whose address is this? It's mine. Why didn't you just write it down? Because we can't risk it being seen. Hey, yes. Babe, this is my sociology professor. Professor James, this is Brad. Kim speaks so highly of you. Oh, she does. <laughs> Ready to go, babe? Yes. Remember the address. Thank you. So that's her. She seems nice. She is. So you still believe she's being abused? I don't think. I know for sure now. How? She kind of admitted it by not denying it. Wow. That's messed up. So what do you think she's going to do about it? I hope stay alive. Car is ready. They drop me off at the auto shop. Why you didn't say anything earlier? You know this is gonna make you late for work. It's a block from your job. How late are you gonna be? Two minutes. God. Yo, check out these new binoculars I just got. Everything oh, the mice, man. Yeah, yeah, I can probably see what Jesus doing with these. Yeah. Crazy, man. I mean, they don't see from the moon or nothing, but they see farther than most binoculars. Let me turn these bad boys out real quick. Look, Stan. We need to take a break. Some time apart. Some time apart? Yes. Ain't nobody trying to hear that mess you talking. Look, Stan, I'm tired of your abuse. This ain't the life that I signed up for. Are you trying to leave me? Look, what kind of happy marriage? is based on verbal and physical abuse. It's just best that you let me go. Let you go? Yes. I can't take this anymore. You just really need to let me go. Whoa, I can see everything with these. Let me see, let me see. Hold on, you sure you can't see to the moon with these? Death. Stay it no! Yo, it's a car serving on the road. It looked like Professor James' car. Yo, the car just crashed. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Um, I would like to report a car crash. On Cherry Road. Close to the college. I'm not close or anything. I was watching through my binoculars. Okay, okay, please hurry. There's somebody who could be hurt. All right, come on, come on, come on. Where is she? She's never late. Maybe that was her. Wait, what are y'all talking about? We saw a car get run off the road and crash. What? When? About 20 minutes ago. Excuse me. 
me. I'm looking for a possible patient that could have just gotten here. Her name is Professor Lisa James. Lisa James, room nine. Thank you. Hey, I got your soda. Who's this? Hi, I'm Kim, one of her students. I'm Stan. That's nice of you to come see her. Thank you. Hey, babe. Hey. How you doing? I'm okay, babe. What happened? He's smiling. Stacy! Tell them how happily married we are. Oh, we're very happy. He swerved to keep her here. How's she doing? She's fine, physically. The doctor says she should be able to go home tomorrow. I'm just worried about what's gonna happen to her when she gets back there. You think he had something to do with the crash? I know he did. Somebody need to kill that fool. Girl, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna get some sleep. Okay. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Stand, but this is my sister, and I want to make sure that she's settled in at home. Is it all right with you? Yeah, sure. Right, cool. All right. So Stan can finish taking over. All right. Now look, you call me now. I will. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, love you, sis. Love you, BT. All right. Now don't forget to call me if you need me. All right. I will. All right. I will. All right. Talk to you later. All right. All right. All right, Stan. Take care. All right, sis. See you later. All right. will be gone for a few hours, so have me some dinner ready when I get back. Stan, I just got out of the hospital. What does that have to do with me? If you know what's good for you, you do what I say.
you know? 
to why I got here. Hey, bro. Students are allowed to come in and study. I don't know why you come in here questioning. She says she's not here. Why don't you just leave? She might want to talk to you. Or what? Excuse me. I'm looking for my wife, Miss James. Have you seen her? No, I'm not sure she's not here. Shouldn't she be at home with the girl who blew up? Yeah, you are. She is. I just want to bring her home. Thank you. Hi, babes. Tell you something. I've been keeping this from you for quite a while now. You know, I dig it. You know, you. Okay, so now you're making me nervous. What's up? Well, um, Stan, he's been leaving me. What? Oh my god. Where is he? Dana. This is why I didn't want to tell you. That is not something you keep from me, Lee. I'm your sister, girl. Our parents are no longer here. We are all we got. I know. <sighs> How long has this been going on? Um, a couple months or so. Are you kidding me? And I let you at home by yourself with that fool when we came back from the hospital? <sighs> Wait. Did he cause that crash? Hmm. Dana, I am so sorry. I did not mean to keep this from you. You know how you get crazy? What? I am not. Well, wait a little bit. Tell me. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't know. Me too. Who house is this? Him, my student you saw at the hospital. Wow, she's letting you stay here? Yes, she's been a great friend. Why don't you just go stay with me? And what do you think? The first place is on you. Exactly. And we'd have made sure that was the last place we saw. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I got to get out of here. I got to eat and go to. So, walk me to the door. Okay. So, she can stay with me. I know. I just came here. Because you know I have no problem with busting a flat and staying with Lee. you. I'm just saying. You know this is the safest place for me right now. Oh, Lord. Now, be safe with me.
Don't forget to wash your hands either. Well, y'all ain't miss you, Daddy. What is my food? <clears throat> Dad, you think you have something in your throat? Oh, whoa. You ain't finished yet? No, I'm not. No. We're starting something new today. Oh, we are? What is it? Feed me. You guys can go get washed up. It'll be right in. What's up, Stan? Where is she? You all right? You all right? Where, where's who? Where is she? Stan, who are you looking for, man? My wife. Why would your wife be here? Lisa! Stan, yeah, Stan, what are Lisa. you doing? Look, you gotta leave. leave. I'm gonna call the police if you don't leave. You gotta go. Stan, listen, come on, man. Stan, she's not here. Okay? She's not here. Stan, Stan, come on. Stan! Stan what's, are you okay, man? What's this? What's this? What's this? I know you guys are hiding. Hiding? Oh, Stan, I gotta ask you to leave, man. You're, you're drunk and you're not thinking straight, okay? Come on, let's, let's just go. Let's just go. All right, yeah, it's okay. Come on. Right. Man, she's, still Man, she's not. She's not here, brother. She's not here. No, she's not. All right. Well, take care of yourself. I'm sorry. Lisa, that meal was absolutely delicious. Thank you. I guess I don't have a little competition. <laughs> Well, you have one tonight. You too. And you, my dear, I will see tomorrow. Hey, let me help you with those. Hmm. Thanks. You know, Brett is really sweet. Yes, he is. I really love him. How long have you two been together? Since my grade. Wow. High school sweetheart. Well, you better hold on to him. They are hard to find. That's true. drunk and acting scared. What? Look, for some reason, he, he thought you were hiding out over here. I am so sorry. Look, don't be afraid. I'm just so glad you're out of here. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. Okay, then. Okay, look, I gotta go. But you took care of yourself. Here is. I was your father. Thank you. My husband. He went to the neighbors making a ruckus. Wow. He's not going to give up, is he? Because he Maybe I should go. Why? Because I can't risk him coming here hurting me. Don't 
don't worry so much. It's not like he knows where I live anyway. He won't find you here. You're safe. I'm Heather. This is Hannah. And this young man is Connor. Yeah. Connor. That's my name. You don't look like a Heather or Hannah or Connor to me. You can be honest with me. He won't find you here. Yes, he will. What are you doing? We need to know the real names of the people living here so we can notify the police if necessary to keep you safe. Is it your husband that you're trying to get away from? Some rest and I'll some dishes. Here. I am a little tired. Thank you. Mom, are you okay? Mom, open the door. Can I help you? I want to see my mother. Oh my gosh, Mom, are you okay? Don't worry, baby. God will take care of you. Is he gonna do it today? Mom. Mom. We have to leave. We have to. I know, baby. I know. Hey, I'm on the table. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. You too. Out here waiting. You ain't got no job or nothing? The narcissistic family. I find that book. Yes. I'm gonna need you all to purchase this book. But we can't find it. It's in the bookstore and it's on sale for ten dollars. Or you can download it onto your phone or your tablet. Hey, Mr. Stark is leaving. About time. Thanks, Jay, for keeping an eye out. You know, I got your back. Listen, Jay, you know, I can't let that happen to my favorite professor. Thank you. Hey, girl. What's she doing? Girl, in here checking out this fine man. In here walking like Denzel all up and through here. You need to be checking for a ring. Don't be wasting your time Googling over some bad man. First of all, I don't drool. And second of all, good no, I ain't got no ring. So what you done here? Sorry, your pepper? Now you know I am classy. I'm just gonna be on every out of his own. Sounds like you done joined the stalking club. <laughs> oh girl, hold on, here come, here come, here come. Let me call you back. I seen you checking me out. All you had to do was say something to me. I won't check you out. I'm Sean. Dana. Nice to meet you. Same here. Hey, so what's the news? Date this weekend. Uh, uh, so you know what you're going with? No. I wish you was with me so you could help me pick something out. I wish I was here too. But you know we can't get one chance to buy. I know. We should just hire a hitman and take staying out. <laughs> Girl, you got it. <laughs> Maybe I'll come out tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later, sis. All right. Love you. Love you too.
She was here when I went to the store. When I got back, she was gone. Maybe she's went out to get some fresh air. Don't worry about it. It's not like her husband would ever expect her to leave like this anytime. That's true. Don't be stupid. If you want to live, you better play along. You haven't heard anything from her yet? No. Now it's time to worry. Are you sure I called my sister? Good idea. Hey, Ken, what's up? Hey, is Lisa with you? No, I thought she was with you. No, she was here when I went to the store. When I got back, she was gone. What? How long ago this been? A few hours ago? Hello? Which is Zena? You still there? Meet me at Lisa's house. Hurry! Call the police first? And tell him what? That I think he might be holding my sister hostage or might even harm her? How are we gonna convince him? Exactly. Let's go. Where's my sister? I haven't 
seen Lisa. She left me weeks ago. Where's my sister? What are you doing, man? Go in there, check every room, every door, every closet. Go! I told you she's not here. You think I'm going to be broken to my house? Still, addresses off my desk. I know you broke in my house, baby. She's not here. You said everywhere. Nothing. I told you she's not here. Now leave. You can't go do nothing with that gun anyway. What? Fool, that is my sister. I will blow your head off your neck. Dina. Dina, let's just go, please. You can't help Lisa if you're in jail. You better hope nothing has happened to my sister. Because I will kill you. Let's get out of here. You did something to her. I know it. Wait, didn't you know Sarah Rich? Yeah, I did. Hello? Yeah, this is she. What? I'm on my way. They just found Lisa. I'm looking for my sister, Lisa Jane. Are you guys a family? Yes, I'm my sister. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we found your sister in her car near a wooded area. <laughs> Is she alive? No, yeah, she's alive. Um, Barely, but, but she is alive. Do you have any idea who would want to do something like this, sir? Her husband. Her Stands husband. with James. Yes. She's been hiding from him at my house for weeks. Okay. Stay up here, James. Okay. Oh, here's the doctor. Are you Miss James' sister? Yes, Doc. How is she? suffered a lot of bad injuries. She's got a cracked jaw, a few broken ribs, a concussion, and it looks like she's got burns all over her body. And she's lost a lot of blood. She, she's very lucky to be alive. I'm going to do my best to keep her that way. Can we see you? Only two at a time. Uh, she, she may or may not be awake. Uh, she has so much pain. We had to sedate her. Okay. Uh, Doc, do you think I can get a chance to talk to her? You should maybe be able to tell me who did this to her. Sure, you can try. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, are you guys okay? Look, I know this is hard for you to see, but I'm gonna need you to be strong, okay? And more importantly, she's gonna need you to be strong. Okay, we got this. Lee! Lisa, hey, how are you doing? I'm Detective Stroud. Um, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. You don't have to speak, just nod if you can. Yeah? Um, do you know who did this to you? Was it your husband? Thank you. See, thanks. Thank you. What? Okay, I understand what you're saying. Yes, this is Detective Stroud. I need an arrest warrant for a Stanford James. The attempted murder of his wife, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can someone give me a call when you guys get him? 
Yeah, yeah, no, just keep him in holding until I get there. I want to deal with this bastard myself. So you guys just give me a call if you need anything. Okay. Thank you. Good seeing you again, Kat. Same here. Take care. Hey, I have to take her down for an X-ray. You guys are welcome to stay in the room. It shouldn't be that long. I'll be here with you back soon. Okay. So how you know the detective? She handled my mother as murder. Sister. It's okay. I wanted to be there for her. But still, you didn't have to be. Thank you. This is all my fault. <laughs> Your fault? <laughs> I, I want your address now. I left it at my business. It's staying broken by my nose. Obviously, it's with the police and that. We found it. See, that's not your fault that her husband was an abuser. <laughs> I did that to her. If I'd have just threw the address away, <laughs> she would be safe. But it's your house. You didn't know he was going to break in it. <laughs> hey, at least we know they're about to pick him up. We've got him. Now we know he's going to be safe. Good evening, sir. Uh, are you staff of James? Yes. We're officers from the sheriff's department. We'd like to speak to you, man. Do you mind stepping outside, sir? Sir, unless you want. Yes, she is. So we're having a walk over there. Attempted murder? What are you doing? Attempted murder? So he has the right to remain silent. What the hell are you doing, you man? Safe, I, have been you I told you I did not kill my own wife. Man, I'm not trying yeah, to hear this, man. Now, this question, if you can't I just told you I did not kill my own wife. What are you doing? Man, I did not kill my own wife. I told you I did not kill my wife. Mm-hmm. You know, Stan, <clears throat> we arrested you for attempted murder. Yet, you told first the arresting officer, and now me, that you didn't kill your wife. So because that was the original plan, it just didn't work out? I mean, because she told me personally that, uh, and I quote, he thinks I'm dead. I want to talk to my lawyer. Absolutely. 
I mean, you're going to need them. Because I'm going to personally make sure that we lock your ass up for a long time. I mean, it's just too bad we can't go for the death penalty. Trust me, I asked. Chew up out the bed. Yeah, I'm still a little sore, but I'm walking around now. The doctor says I can go home tomorrow. Oh, that's great, Lee. I just hope you got my ring ready. Oh, you know it. I talked to Detective Straub. Mm -hmm. She did say Sam pleaded not guilty, but he was denied bail. Oh, that is more good news. What's wrong? I just can't seem to get what happened to me out of my head. Man, I know that's normal. You know, we just gotta take it one day at a time. And I think when God can spare your life, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. All right. The state of South Carolina versus Stafford James are in order. Please be seated. Call your first witness. We call Kimberly Towns, Your Honor. Miss Towns, I understand that Miss James has been living at your home. Yes. Can you tell me why she's been living at your home? I asked her to come there in case she ever needed somewhere to hide. Why would you think she would need somewhere to hide? Did she tell you that she was being abused? No, but I can tell by her behavior. Thank you. Your witness. You can tell by her behavior. So what are your psychologists now? Objection. Withdrawn. What was different about her behavior? She started drinking before and during class. And she started wearing clothes to hide her bruises. Did you see the bruises for yourself? I saw one, but not all of them. So you didn't see the bruises, but you knew that they were there. So in other words, you're assuming that they were there. You're skating on thin ice. Ask a question. Sorry, Your Honor. Miss Towns, did you ever think that the drinking was the reason for her change in behavior? No. And why not? Objection, Your Honor. She's not a doctor. Sustained. How long had Miss James been staying with you before the incident? Almost a month. Okay, so she had been living with you for about a month and Mr. James never showed up at your home? He didn't know where I lived. Instead, he was coming to the school. Did he hurt her at the school? No, because... No further questions, Your Honor. Read the rent, Your Honor. Miss Towns, did Mrs. James eventually tell you that she was being abused? Yes. And did she tell you who was abusing her? Yes. Her husband. Can you tell me what happened when... Stafford James came to your home on November the 13th, 2018. Yes, well, Stan had been drinking. You know, he came to our home, kind of pushed his way through, searching for Lisa for some reason. He thought she was hiding there. You hit her in another room when he came? I wasn't aware that she was being abused after she moved in with Sam. Are you and your sister close? Yeah. So you're telling me that the two of you are close but you didn't know that she was being abused. Why is that? Is it because that she was telling a lie? Objection. Withdrawn. Why do you think she kept her abuse from you? Because she didn't want to miss getting me hurt as well or being involved. Your Honor, I would like to call for a recess. Court will be in recess until tomorrow morning. Are you ready? No, I think so. I just hate that I'm not this. Well, that's why you gotta do whatever it takes so you won't have to face another woman. Mrs. James, I just tell them everything that happened on that day, okay? You're gonna be just fine. Call your next witness. We call Lisa James to the stand, Your Honor. your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. 
Can you tell the court what happened on the evening of November the 15th, 2018? I was at Kim's home when she decided to go to the store. I was about to relax and that's when I heard a knock at the door. I thought it was Kim. I thought she had forgotten something. So I, I went to open the door, but it was standing. He, he was standing right there. I tried, I tried to shut the door, but he blocked it. Came in and he grabbed me. And he placed a knife to my neck. And he said, if I had tried to do anything, he made his eyes from So he forced me to leave and made me drive us to our home. When we got in the house, he pushed me into the bedroom, onto the bed, and that's when he, he told me to take off my gloves. between his legs and I ran, I ran to get out of the house and he called me before I could get out the door. He punched me in my face. I fell to the floor and he just started beating me and beating me. I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. So, I pretended to be dead and I laid there with my eyes open. So it was stop eating. And he cleaned me up, dressed me, and drove me to a wedding. He placed me in the driver's seat with my purse in it and phone. And he just walked away. As he was walking away, I, I opened my eyes to watch him through the mirror. And when I could no longer see him, I reached for my phone to call him. Mrs. James, if you don't mind me asking, what type of injuries did you sustain from? I had a cracked jaw, three broken ribs, burns from the hot water, a concussion from him out of the tub and 
pop it burns. You'll be dragging me through our home. And here are the pictures. This is Exhibit A of everything that Miss Jane has actually gone through. And Mrs. James, you still manage to pretend being dead. Can you tell us what was going through your mind? What were you thinking during this time? Stay alive. Yes, you did. Your witness. Mrs. James, I'm so sorry for what you had to endure. When your husband began abusing you, why did you go to the police? Because I couldn't take the chance of you getting off, coming home more furious to kill me sooner. Further question. Man, what did you do? You trying to bury me? Stan's lawyer. I just, I hope that's enough. The jury's back. I'm ready. Wow. <laughs> jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant, Stanford James.
time I'm gon' take a stand Believe in here and pray again My soul has been so thirsty for so long I'm tired of breaking in Pieces, I'm just tired of the abuse The mental foolery I believe I'm gon' make it I'm tired of situations using me So I gather my strength Pick up my head, lay in it bed Joy cometh in the morning So I drop to my knees and say The struggle is real but God is realer And you deserve much better One step is all it takes Then take another one You two step and just look at you Your smile getting bigger now You made that choice, you did it, wow You almost thought you wouldn't make it Through that storm, really? How? Praise the Lord for all he's done He really do it, there's power in an audible word And mountains move to soothe them I know that the struggle is real I can feel all the pain that you feel But believe you can make it Believe you can break it You will And this time you will take a stand I know